Hello and welcome to Take 5 with Fene 5. Hey, that's me. Today is Think About It Thursday. Now, I truly believe that when the light comes from within, you don't have to steal the spotlight. You don't have to be the spotlight. You don't look for the spotlight. However, we have all been around those people and sometimes work with people who not only have to have the spotlight, but they try to throw shade on your light. Let's talk about what happens when those type of people even blatantly steal your ideas, okay? It happens. So I will say to you, don't become bitter, become better. I'm going to share some information with you from Dr. Susan Doyle Morris. And here's a clip, take a look. I'm Dr. Suzanne Doyle Morris, founder of Inclusic. But let's start at the basics. If this routinely happens to you, well, the first thing to do is not to suffer in silence. If you let this happen and don't say anything, well, you over time will just become a worked up ball of resentment and rage, rage a snap, which, take it from me, is never a good look. <laughs> Instead, thank the person in the meeting by saying something like, John, I really like the way you built on my idea from what I said a few minutes earlier, and I'd love to work with you on it. <laughs> that reminds people that you are collaborative. So the second thing to do, besides mentioning it when it does happen, is to become better at crediting other people when you see their ideas get appropriated, whether on purpose or not. Well, a good way to support what someone is to say, I really like the way John's taken Janelle's idea from our last meeting and worked with it. Have you two been working on it together since we were last together? <laughs> and today we're gonna finish with my last secret stealth tip, my lemon scented technique that is used to prevent an idea being stolen in the first place. So. If you worry about that happening, get support from a key ally before you go into the meeting and share it with them so that you can help make sure that they know at least where the idea came from. If you've got an idea but worry about bringing it up publicly because you're fearful that someone else is going to take it and run with it, well, then get buy-in from someone who's going to be at that meeting but is someone you trust. And then at the meeting, you've got one of two options. You can ask your colleague to mention it by saying something like, well, you know, Wendy and I were talking about this a few days ago and she brought up a really interesting point that we wanted to discuss with everyone. Or secondly, your other option is you can raise it at your, yourself at the meeting by saying something like, well, I was talking with Mark about this the other day and he helped me see a few new angles on an idea I had and we thought that'd be great to discuss with the larger group. That way, it's confirmed to everyone around that it started with you. So, I hope this has helped you and thank you for joining me at Take 5 with Renee 5. Hey, that's me. Be blessed.